Uh, I'm going junkin'. Nope, that's wrong. Hi everyone, it's Stacy from Peony Lane Design. Thank God. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I don't have many of these days left wearing a winter coat. Going to be 70 degrees this week, but uh, I'm going to junk it. I dropped the kiddo off at archery, and I'm going to get some videos in the hopper for the tournament. That I'm apparently driving to Utah. So I'm driving to Utah. <laughs> 19 hours. Hey! But while we we're there, I want to have a couple videos queued up and ready for you guys so that you know we don't we don't miss each other too much. Yeah. You know, I'll just have to trust my trust me that I'm still alive at the end of it because that's a long drive. But the Family Pathways store in town is open till seven o'clock tonight. It's not one of my favorite stores because they've gotten super expensive. But a friend of mine was at the Badwill today and she, she showed me some of their shenanigans. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, y'all. Just not in the mood. So she tells me that blue tags were 50% off today and then she proceeded to show a bunch of stuff that had been blue tags that had yellow tags tagged over them not very well pop up a picture of what she sent me and, and I'm like are you kidding me so things that the I, I don't know why they would do that but they did it I mean it's obvious that they did it and then she overheard a conversation with a woman who was working there and she asked the manager if all this glass they were throwing out was gonna end up in a landfill. And the woman said to her, yes, because nobody buys it. It was just clear glass stuff. Nobody buys it and it's gonna end up in a landfill and they were just tossing it. There you go. So I'm going to do the family pathways today and see what they've got and hopefully we find at least one treasure. That'd be nice. One, one treasure would be nice. Let's see what we find. Alright, well I did. I spent less than $15. I'm very proud of myself. Pretty proud. Uh, I got a few pieces. I found it really interesting because for some reason they had a bunch of stuff like a bunch, and I'll show you, of promotional stuff for Netflix shows. Let me show you. Oh, I was tempted to pick up a couple of the Squid Game cups because they were 50 cents a piece. And like Victoria and I love Squid Game. <laughs> I can't wait for the next season. They said they were doing a second season, but I haven't seen it yet. Anyway, um, absolutely love Squid Games. It was good. Um, found a couple pieces though. We will definitely take a peek at those. What else did I see there? There was a course like the they had brand new Vanessa Williams purses. They were all twelve dollars no matter what purse you looked at. But they were all like this patent leather with a giant V. I'll show you. And then I saw this adorable little garden gnome. He was so cute. Like if he had worked, but I um, put my hand over the the solar and his eyes don't light up, he would have been so cute. <laughs> and I, I didn't, for the price that was on him, I didn't want to have to fix him. Because again, the prices are insane. They had a uh, an amber, like, uh, base container like a jar a lid jar with a lid and I have an amber glass one in the back of my car right now that I just took out of vintage junkie that was mine and they didn't sell it and my price is 
way cheaper than theirs. They have $60 on the damn thing. And I went, oh, what? I mean, what is going on here? $60 for this the canister, this amber glass canister. No, 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 no. I mean, it's cute and all, but it ain't that cute. It ain't $60 cute. I mean, I would blush to put that price tag on stuff. And they still had the Dollar Tree tile, peel and stick tile for twice as much as you could get it at Dollar Tree. I'm like, why would I pay two fifty dollars for the peel and stick tile from... It, it's only a dollar twenty-five across the street. It's literally across the street. So it's crazy, but I did find a couple pieces that I'm happy to get. One will be a project, and a couple others will be. Just, they're just good. Wait till you see. Okay, let's do a car haul. I know it irritates Victoria. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I bought was this little thing and yes I know it's hideous um it's heavy it's this heavy crock it was six dollars I way probably overpaid for it but I'll tell you why I saw this girl on TikTok and she did this cute project with it so I've been I've been trying to find one trying to find any crock that I could find I'm trying to peel this tag off to see if there's a name under here I don't think so uh, not intended for food use. That's all it says. So that's interesting. <laughs> this thing is so heavy though. Um, so this is, this is going to be a project. This will be a little thing. I want to see if I can do what she did with hers. And that's why I paid too much for it. What I didn't pay too much for was this. It's wherever wherever aluminum baking pan. These are nice because these have the slide on lids, right? $3.50 for the big one. Inside the big one is an eight by eight for $3. I swear my grandma had these pans and they work great. They're a little dirty. This one was $3. They're way dirty. Like there's, there's gross stuff in it. They have to be scrubbed out, but I love these pans. I love these pans with the lid that just slides on. For bars, right? Because my dog can eat things off the counter now. Like she's figured out that all she has to do is lift her nose up and eat things off the counter. So um, wherever for $3, I'll take that. They had new ones that are like, my mother-in-law gave me one for my wedding and I like it because it's got the, the hard top lid on it too. And it has like my name engraved on the top. I don't like them as much as those because these, you know, they just slide off. Those you kind of have to pry off. And sometimes I cut myself. I'm sorry, Nancy. But it'll be nice to have the eight by eight with the lid on it. I have a cheap Dollar Tree eight by eight, but the eight, eight by 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 Like I got on an eight by eight and then it just kept coming. eight by eight Dollar Tree one that I use for brownies. And I'm like, oh, I got a wherever one now with a lid for $3. I'll take that. And that's it. Wasn't a huge haul, but this project, I'm looking forward to this one. She just did this thing and now I'm not gonna tell you about it. I'm not gonna tell you. It's, it'll be a project. And she made it look really cute. And I'm hoping I can make this look really cute. We'll find out because I paid six dollars for what we're doing something with. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy checking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week. DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin' videos.